ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And today, we're putting that power to the test here on KCheck. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And as you might know, for several weeks, we've been searching for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. We've now reached our final week of eliminations. And after this, we will be moving on to the semis and the grand finals where we will reveal our new K-Check champion. So for today, apat na contestants from UP Diliman ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una ay si Faith. Faith is a fourth-year BS secondary education student who loves listening to pop rock and EDM. Her hobbies include walking and playing flag football. Irish is a third-year BS community nutrition student. Her hobbies naman include watching Filipino movies and surfing the internet. Alfie is a BS Geography student. His interests include transportation studies and astronomy. He enjoys playing video games, watching TV series, and listening to chill pop music. And last but not least, Aisha is a BS Electrical Engineering student. Her hobbies include watching TV shows, going to the gym, and making amigurumi. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First of all, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. We also have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. And last but not least, Professor Roman Lito To Austria of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. So get ready to buzz in and collect those points. But please make sure you wait until you're acknowledged by me before you give your answer. Otherwise, your answer might not be given the proper credit. Correct answers are 10 points each. So with the rules in place, let's begin. This is round one and this is question number one. What school in the NCAA has a team that uses the nickname Red Lions? Alfie. San Beda. San Beda is the correct answer. K check. Question number two in elementary math. 60 is 30% of what number? Irish. 180. The answer is incorrect. Anybody want to steal? Alfie. 200. The correct answer is 200 K check. Question number three. More than 7 million people have been displaced in Sudan since fighting broke out between the Sudanese Armed Forces and the Rapid Support Forces in 2023. In what continent can you find Sudan? Okay. South Africa. South Africa is incorrect. Alfie. Africa. Africa is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. Which Filipino rock band gained fame for their single Mundo but went into a hiatus in 2020? Faith. Four of Spades. Four of Spades is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. Named after her blonde hair, what is the name of the fairy tale character who went into the house of the three bears? I, Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Goldilocks is the correct answer. K check. Question number six in human anatomy. What organ of the body is made up of cardiac muscle? Faith. Heart. The heart is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. What strong but lightweight metallic element has the symbol TI? Alfie. Titanium. Titanium is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. Which American football player for the Kansas City Chiefs was said to have begun dating Taylor Swift in July 2023? Faith. Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. What is the name of the lizard? best known for its distinct range of colors and being capable of shifting to different hues and degrees of brightness. Irish. Chameleon. Chameleon is the correct answer. K-check. 
Question number 10. What word may refer to one of the four seasons or the act of collapsing? Alfie. Fall. Fall is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. In what province can you find Lapu Lapu City? Irish. Cebu. Cebu is the correct answer. K check. And for our last question for this round, question number 12. In what sport did Yoshinobu Yamamoto sign a whopping $325 million contract with the Los Angeles Dodgers in January 2024? Irish. Baseball. Baseball is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our first round. After that round, we have Alfie in the lead with 50 points followed by Faith and Irish, who are tied for second place with 30 points each, and Aye with 10 points. So, eto na naman tayo sa punto ng ating programa na kinikilala natin ang ating mga contestants. So, unahin natin si Faith. Ano yung pinapakinggan mong EDM? Electronic dance music. Oh. Yung mga sa clubs. <laughs> okay. So, meron ba yung particular grupo? Uh, mga, or? Mga, uh, sila Avicii po ba Martin Garrix, Alesso, ganun. Mm. <laughs> Pakihanap na lang mamaya para sa akin sa Spotify ba yan, mahanap. Sige, maraming salamat, Faith. Kay Irish naman, ano ang iyong paboritong pelikula na pelikulang Pilipino? Uh, sa ngayon po, ang paborito ko yung Seven Sundays po. Oo, pero bakit tumatak ang Seven Sundays sa'yo? Um, I think kasi mat... Pinapakita po nung movie yung value ng family and yung reality na hindi naman um, nagpo-portray ng ibang movies. Uh, we will talk to our other contestants later. It's always nice to have some kind of chikahan with our contestants to get to know them better. But in the meantime, magpaprepara muna tayo para sa round 2 at babalik po ang K-Check. ng ating karunungan check after the first round Alfie leads with 50 points Faith and Irish are tied in second place for 30 points and Aye has 10 points So ituloy natin ang chikahan portion natin si Alfie naman Interesado daw siya sa transportation studies What is this exactly? Um, ayun po yung uh, kapag tinanakal po yung iba't ibang public transportation dito po sa Pilipinas and ina-assess po natin kung ano po yung epekto nito sa uh, overall society po natin. Ano nga ba ang current course mo? BS Geography po. Mm -hmm. And is there a direct relationship between uh, yes geography po. and po. transport? Aaron po. Yes. So he is in the right place at the right time, I think. So Aye, ano naman ang ginagawa ninyo sa Radio Guild? Also, tell us about your amigurumi hobby. Radio Guild po, uh, it's an uh, academic org inside Triple E. So, nag, since uh, Engineering Radio Guild siya, we hold radio seminars and also it's an uh, academic org for Triple E students na ngayon nagpa-plan kami for ERG anniversary, may charity projects, and then also seminars for high school and college students. And also, uh, meron kaming event for uh, alums. And sa amigurumi naman, it's a kind of Japanese crochet technique na gumagawa ng stuff toy. Parang ano siya, uh, chunky siya ng yarn and then mag crochet mo siya into a stuff toy. It's a good uh, gift for friends. Yes, I think I have seen quite a few of those being sold in the mga bazaars. At meron ding extra plugging para sa Radio Guild activities pakipuntahan at makilahok sa kanilang mga activities. Congratulations! And now, it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. In this round, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two, and this is question number one. What do you call any of four children who are born to the same mother at the same time? Uh, 
Quadruplets. Quadruplets is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. This round Chinese pastry, typically eaten during the mid-autumn festival, is considered an offering to the moon. What is this round Chinese pastry called? Irish? Mooncake. Mooncake is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. FNAF is a popular indie horror game by Scott Cawthon online on KBH Games. What does FNAF stand for? Aye. Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. Last December 2023, a female actress won a deportation case she filed against her former partner, who is an American. Who is this comedian whose real name is Marietta Subong? Okay. Irish. Pokwang. Pokwang is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. Who won the Academy Award for Best Actor in 2021 for his role in the film The Father 30 years after winning the award for Silence of the Lambs? Magagalit si Anthony Hopkins sa inyo. He scared everyone in Silence of the Lambs. I suggest you watch it. Question number six. Prague is one of Europe's finest cities and the major economic and cultural center of its country. In what country can you find Prague? Faith. Czech Republic. Czech Republic is the correct answer. K. Czech. Question number seven. What is the name of the Asian tree or the oak whose outer bark is used to make stoppers for bottles of wine and other alcoholic beverages? Faith. Rubber tree. The answer is incorrect. The answer is the cork tree. Question number eight. Which inventor of dynamite established a set of annual prices named after him? Ironically, the answer is Alfred Nobel, after whom the Nobel Peace Prize is named after. Question number nine. The first new big hit of 2024, according to Billboard 100, is Loving On Me, which was recorded by which American rapper of first-class fame? The correct answer is Jack Harlow. Question number 10. What do you call the art of producing beautiful writing, often created with a special pen or brush? Faith. Calligraphy. Calligraphy is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. In geometry, what do you call a line that intersects a circle at one point only? Alfie. Tangent. Tangent is the correct answer. K check. Last question for this round. Question number 12. Yokohama is a major port and second largest city in what country? Faith. Japan. Japan is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our second round. Let's see how you guys did. Alfie leading at 90 points, followed very closely by Faith and Irish, who are tied for second place with 70 points each, and Aye with 30 points. Pero hindi pa nagtatapos po dito ang laban. Up next ang ultimate pagalingan round sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. And at this point, after the second round, Alfie leads with 90 points. Faith and Irish still are tied for second place, but this time at 70 points each. And Aye with 30 points. And now, after that round, it's now time for the ultimate pagalingan round. So let's go for those points. And for the win contestants, 
Remember, in this round, the panel of experts will be asking you the questions. So wait for me to acknowledge you before giving your answers. Correct answers are worth 30 points each this time, and there's a 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. To kick off the ultimate pagalingan round, Prof. Neil. General information. Anong tanggapan ang responsable sa paglunsad ng mga investigasyon sa mga matataas na opisyal ng gobyerno na inakusahan ng mga krimen, lalong-lalo na sa usapin ng malawakang korupsyon at pandarambo? A. Department of Justice B. National Bureau of Investigation C. Ombudsman B. Philippine National Police E. Sandigan Bayan Ah, yeah. B. National Bureau of Investigation. Mali. Faith. C. Ombudsman. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Ombudsman. K-check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Prof. Marla. What structure in plants is responsible for support and transport of water and minerals? A. Leaves. B. Flowers. C. Roots. Aye. C. Roots. Male. Let me finish reading the, the other choices. D. Stems. Faith. D. Stem. The correct answer is D. Stems. K. Check. Prof. Talk. The Philippine National Artist for Visual Arts is acknowledged as the Dean of the Filipino Illustrators. He is well-known Filipino comics illustrators such as works like Lapu-Lapu, Sagisag ng Pilipino, Marubini, all published in Liwayway magazine in the 1950s and 1960s. A. Mars Ravelo B. Larry Alcala C. Nestor Redondo D. Botong Francisco E. Francisco Coching The correct answer is letter E, Francisco Coching. Thank you very much, Prof. Top. Prof. Neil. Sa kasaysayang Pilipino, sa anong pahayagan ng kilosang propaganda, nagsilbing editor si Graciano Lopez Jaina, isang dakilang reformista na nagmula sa Iloilo. A. Kalayaan B. Liwanag at Dilim C. La Solidaridad Irish. C. La Solidaridad. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. La Solidaridad. K-check. Which organ system is primarily responsible for producing offspring? A. Digestive system. Faith. Reproductive system. The correct answer is B. Reproductive system. K-check. In June 1834, Casa Rojas, known today as the Ayala Corporation, founded the first distillery in the Philippines, originally called the Ayala Distillery or Distillerias Ayalas. They produce Inebra San Miguel, and the label that we are is still familiar today featuring St. Michael the Archangel triumphantly battling the vanquished demon who was created in 1917 who created the Ginebra San Miguel label? A. Carlos Botong Francisco B. Nesto Redondo C. Francisco Coching D. Fernando Amorsolo E. Larry Alcala Ang sagot ay letter D. Fernando Amorsolo You learn something new every day General information, sa anong kagawaran bahagi ang Professional Regulation Commission o PRC? A. Commission on Higher Education B. Department of Education C. Department of Labor and Employment D. Department of Trade and Industry E. National Economic and Development Authority 
Irish. Department of Labor and Employment. Tamang sagot ay letter C. Dole o Department of Labor and Employment. K-check. Pumahabol na si Irish kay Faith. What is the study of earthquakes called? Faith. Seismology. A. Botany. B. Seismology. C. Meteorology. D. Ecology. E. Astronomy. The correct answer is B. Seismology. K. Check. Prof. Do? On art history, this popular American artist was an initiator and leading exponent of the pop art movement of the 1960s whose mass-produced art hypothesized the supposed banality of the commercial culture of the United States. Among his famous artworks are silk screen prints of Campbell soup cans, Coca-Cola bottles, wooden replicas of Brillo cup, Brillo soap pad boxes. A. Mark Rothko B. Jean-Michel Basquiat C. Roy Lichtenstein D. Andy Warhol E. David Hockney The correct answer is letter D, Andy Warhol. Tapusin na natin to, Prof. Neil. Yeah, sa usapang politika, ano ang parehong posisyon ang hinawakan ina Franklin Drillon, Juan Ponce Enrile, at Aquino na Pimentel? Irish. Senate President. Ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Senate President Kaycek. Exciting to titingnan natin kung sino magiging winner natin for the day, Prof. Marla. What is the primary function of the skeletal muscles in humans? A. Movement. B. Digestion. C. Producing hormones. D. Respiration. E. Protecting organs. Irish. Movement. The correct answer is A. Movement. K. Check. Ayan na nga, nag-tie na tayo kay Faith at saka kay Irish. Tied for first place with 190 points each. Prof. To, ito na. Sige, exciting to. Exciting. On photography. This English photographer is important for his pioneering work in photographic studies of motion and in motion picture projection. Experiments in photographing motion began in 1872. He studied the motion of the trotting horse's gait. All four legs are off the ground simultaneously, man descending on stairs and women hopping. A. Walter Benjamin B. Walt Disney C. Edward Mo Walt Disney I'm sorry, Faith, but you were not acknowledged before you gave your answer, so we cannot recognize that answer given by you. We can request Professor Toto to continue with the question, or anyone else can steal at this point in time. Uh, let me continue the choices. Uh, A, Walter Benjamin. B, Walt Disney. C, Edward Muybridge. D, George Eastman. And E, Hannibal Gold Goldwyn. The correct answer is letter C, Edward Muybridge. And here we are, a tie for first place in today's K-Check round. So magkakaroon po tayo ng tie-breaking question. Once signed with music label Fueled by Ramen, this rock band led by singer Haley Williams ended their original 20-year contract in 2024. What is this band? Paramore. Paramore is the correct answer. And we have a winner. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Faith, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 220 points. Of course, we need to especially acknowledge Irish, who nearly won that round. But there can only be one winner, so thank you Irish, Alfie, and Aye for joining us. We'll see Faith again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for the last spot in our semi-finals. And of course, thank you to Prof. Neil, Prof. Marla, and to Prof. To 
for our panel of experts who joined us today. This is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of Cape Check.